Hey Wizards, I'm Jack. And I'm Jacqueline, and here are your weekly announcements. Attention students, please be reminded, no one is allowed to park on high school grounds without permission. Anyone parked at AutoZone, the bus garage, or the garage across from the high school will be towed. Parking is available at St. Mary's. Thank you. If anyone's interested in purchasing a yearbook, you can do so at yearbookordercenter.com. Washington has a new peer tutoring program. Tutors are needed during study hall. Please sign up by filling out the application on the school website. Safe Homes of Orange County is sponsoring their hashtag We Are the Change Teen Violence Summit on March 25th at SUNY Orange. See Mr. Saladino, Mrs. Davis, Mrs. Bauer, Ms. Hull, or Colonel Moore for a registration packet. Packets are due February 2nd. Seniors, graduation is right around the corner. Your diploma order has to be in. Please let us know how you'd like your name to appear on the diploma by returning the completed form to Mrs. Deemer in the main office by Monday, March 2nd. Forms can be found on the counter of the main office. If anyone is interested in submitting a design for the scholarship run t-shirts, please see Mr. Grenzer in room 320 or talk to your art teachers. If you are playing a spring sport and need a physical, the nurse practitioner will be in the health office January 27th and March 6th. Please sign up in the health office. Attention seniors, please make sure that you're up to date with your application process and also that everything is uploaded to Naviance. Now let's pass it to the sports guy Blake for the sports update. Thanks, Jack. Last week was an exciting week in sports for Wizards Athletics. Last week, our girls' varsity team had a game against Goshen and Kingston. Here's Kendall and Dan with the coverage. Hi, Kendall. Thanks for coming to you live from the girls' basketball game. I am here with... Gabby Cortado. Victoria Marecki. Ring and Justiniano. So are you guys ready for this game? Most definitely. Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, we're gonna do a lot of scoring and a lot of passing. So we've been practicing really hard, watching old film. <laughs> Bree gets a rebound off of Goshen's shot to outlet the ball to Eve to dribble down the court. Kimani gets the ball and makes a great pass to Victoria for a three point shot. Then again, Victoria fumbles the ball from a pass only to get the ball back to make a step back three pointer. And last but not least, Bree gets a charge to get the ball back to the Wizards. And here's Brianna with the coverage of the boys basketball game. Brianna Flynn here with Keith Leonard, captain of the boys varsity basketball team. How are you doing, Keith? Good, good, good. So, Keith, what is your record so far? Uh, so far in the season, we're 5-4 uh, and four overall, 1-2 and two in the division. <laughs> Struggling a little bit, but we're getting there. What do you mean about that struggle? Uh, some of the games so far this season, we've been we've been uh, we've been up in the beginning. We've been playing pretty well throughout, and then we just haven't been able to finish out our games. Uh, they're all coming down to the wire, and most of our losses have been by a small deficit. What do you think the cause of that is? Uh, I th I think that we're not putting in as much work as we can at practice. I think uh, maybe a little too much goofing around, and whatnot. But I think we're we're definitely getting our stuff done and. At the end of the games, we just need to stay focused and not let the other teams get to us. So, what do you think will happen tonight against Minnesink? Uh, I think I think it's looking good for tonight. Uh, we just came off a, a win on Tuesday against Goshen, and uh, this is a big division game tonight. And I think if we work hard and use everything we've been doing those last couple of days in practice, we'll definitely be able to come out with a win tonight. Good luck. Thank you. Brianna Flynn here with Coach Rose of the Varsity Boys basketball team. We just finished a big win. So what do you think? Um, I was really pleased with the win. Um, it's a divisional game. Uh, they've scouted us well. We know each other well. We knew what they were going to run offensively, and they knew what we were going to do too. Uh, that makes it a whole lot harder. And uh, the defense really stepped up today, caused a lot of turnovers, and uh, uh, it was – you know, it was very important for us to get back to 500 in league, and now we're 6-4 and four overall. Um, this is only our second home game um, out of our first 10 games, so it was also nice to uh, uh, have a little home cooking and, and have the fans involved, and uh, we fed off that energy tonight. Is there anything that you could have done better tonight? Um, absolutely. I'm, I'm still unhappy with 18 turnovers. 
Um, too many were unforced. Uh, we, ha we have to play a little bit smarter. Uh, we have to take care of the basketball and value each possession. Um, uh, we were able to do that at the end of the game, and um, that's what I was most pleased about, was uh, closing out that game. That's something we haven't been able to do, is close out teams when we're ahead. Uh, we allow them in, uh, back into the game too often. And uh, today we were more patient, today we moved the ball, and uh, today we finished off a team, a very good team. Thank you very much. Thank you. Our boys hockey team tied John Jay 6-6 and beat Arlington 5-4. Our indoor track team has a meet today, Friday the 23rd, at West Point. Also today our wrestling team has a match against Saugerties. And now back to you guys. Thanks, Blake. Attention student coalition members, the permission slips for the Boston trip that is being held in May are due Monday. You can hand the slips in in room 154 or 160. Also, students who would like to join student coalition should know that the meetings are held the first Wednesday of every month. The next meeting will be held February 4th. Hope to see you there. And now to Matt Mendez, covering Shark Tank. Well, here with me is one of the economics teachers, Mrs. Secreto. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? I'm all right. I'm here to talk to her about Shark Tank. Can you explain about it? Well, what we do is we model the show Shark Tank where students have to use the three basic questions. Every society must answer the basic questions of production and put a product or a good or a service into um, production. And Well, my classes have already started the planning process. We watch a couple of episodes of Shark Tank. We analyze them. We look at the different equity deals versus royalty deals. We see how um, the sharks kind of operate, what a venture capitalist would actually do um, or would actually be interested in investing in. And then I set my students off on their own to do research and development and figure out what kind of a product they might like to come up with or how they can improve on a better product. And also, it's nice to have a little break where kids can be creative and they can have fun with the project as well. Mr. Bruschino, one of the other economics teachers, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, man. Thank you. That's good to hear. Uh, since you're new to the project Shark Tank, what do you know of it? Oh, I love the show. Uh, Mark Cuban's one of my favorite people, so I look forward to seeing what the kids come up with, some of the great ideas. I think they're going to have some, some great stuff, so I look forward to uh, seeing what Basically, they come up with. Basically, the arm pillow is a gel-infused memory foam cushion that conforms to your arm. It's designed to give you the best nap possible. <laughs> we need you guys. Is we need help with um, global distribution, marketing, and sales costs. Right now, we're just selling in the U.S., but we'd like to expand over the whole world. Guys, <laughs> since I already said I don't trust you guys for some reason, I don't want to work with you. Simple as that. Okay. With that said, you guys how do you think Mr. Cutney is as a shark? We know, we knew coming into it that Mr. Cutney was going to be the difficult shark. He's going to be the one to pick apart your product, but that's also why I've sent kids to him to do the R&D, because he's going to be the one that's going to ask you the hard questions and make sure that you have all of your information complete. Here with professional shark, Mrs. Casey. How does it feel to have such an honor to be a shark for uh, Mrs. Secreto's project, Shark Tank? I absolutely love it. I go in there. Um, tearing them apart. I was a little rough on them, she said yesterday. They have some really great ideas, but they need a little bit more follow through, a little bit more direction following so that they can fill, fulfill the needs of the assignment. So do you think they did a good job with the project? Kids did a great job with the project. They were interesting, they were well thought out, but they've got a couple of pieces of the assignment that would have given them that higher grade, but they're, they're really putting a lot of effort, thought, and it, it, it's a lot of fun. Okay, thank you for your time. Okay. And that's all we have for you this week. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Now, Jackie, how should we end this? Well, Jack, just close your eyes. Okay. Click your heels three times and think to yourself, there's no place like BGTV. 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 What's up, Wizards? I'm Jack. And I'm Blake. And we're, we're from BGTV. You want to know where you can get some of this cool Wizards wear? Head on down to the school store located across from the gym. Speaking of the Wizards wear, here's some prices you might want to keep in mind. This cool quarter zip is $30, and a hoodie is $20. A long sleeve t-shirt is $15. This t-shirt is $10, a nice Wizards cup is $5, and this lanyard is $3. You can visit the school store during all lunch periods. Hope to see you there. Peace out, Wizards.